Welcome to the Yellow Sea International Yacht Race 2012, hosted by the Incheon Sailing Federation and the Incheon Daily in Korea. The time has come for the first edition of the major international regatta to start, with the top crews from China, USA, Korea, Canada, and Russia competing for the prestigious trophy. And there was no better way to start than a wonderful opening ceremony with VIPs from Incheon as well as from Qingdao welcoming the teams and wishing the best to the sailors. August the 11th and it's time for the teams to get ready. Careful preparation is of utmost importance and all the crews seem to know it. The race schedule of the regatta is including three legs between Korea and China. Let's hear a few more words about the race course. The course starts from Incheon here uh, and we will sail to uh, the place called Weihai in China uh, which is about 370 kilometers and uh, we are expected to take about two nights. Then from Weihai to uh, Qingdao, another place in China, uh, that course is also about, I believe, about 360 kilometers and uh, um, we are expecting to have about 50 hours of sail. Then from Qingdao, we'll be back to Incheon. The day started with light winds for the sailors and had no other choice than waiting. Some tried to relax, with others choosing to trim and tune or even make some final adjustments. It did not take long for the breeze to build up and eventually for the sailors to head to the race course. The first race was an inshore one, with Team Elena from Russia starting at the race committee boat side, but a bit late. Team Sunny and Irene had a nearly perfect start and were leading from the very beginning. Finally, Team Irene rounded the top mark in the first position, with Sunny second and Uminoko third. Team Hamaru was not in good position at the moment and had to give it all in order to improve. Would they make it? The downwind leg was a short one, with the wind dropping almost to zero. Eventually, the inner loop would be a tough one. Finally, Irene came first, with Team Hamaru finishing second and making the surprise. They tried hard and managed to overtake their rivals with just a few meters before finishing. Immediately after the inshore race, time for the start of the offshore race. The boat should sail from Incheon to Weihai, meaning almost 390 kilometers in the open sea. Even if this leg is too long, a good start always counts. Team Sunny started on top with Uminoko on leeward while the rest of the boats were left behind. Few minutes after the start, the boats were close to one another, with Irene having some fierce battles with Uminoko. Team Hamaru was leading at the moment, proving they are the favorites to win. Will they make it until the end and prove themselves? Let's see. At the same time, Team Sunny chose the left side of the race course and was decreasing its distance from the leaders. Uminoko and Weihai Ivy were sailing close to one another and the battle was expecting to be fierce until the end. Fortunately, the breeze got stronger during the afternoon. The weather is expected to be good with light winds during the night. Good tactics will prove valuable for the skippers and their teams if they want to perform well. Among the favorites to win, we expect Team Sunny, Irene, and Hamaru. Let's see who will prevail at the end. That's it for now. Stay tuned for more news on the Yellow Sea International Yacht Race tomorrow with the results of the first leg and an overview of the race.